Uh, my name is Mark Prindle. I have a website called yahoo.com and today I'm going to talk to you about the album uh, Kill Yourself Again by The Lewd. I guess it probably, if you know my site at all, I guess it probably comes as no big shocker that I'm a big fan of hardcore, be it American hardcore, uh, UK hardcore, uh, you know, even more like poppy hardcore, like Husker Du. Um, these guys, the Lude, they formed in 1982 in uh, Seattle, and the first, uh, this first lineup of the band that recorded this single, the Kill Yourself single, included Kurt Vanderhoof, who later formed Metal Church. Um, you know, Metal Church, who had kind of a, a groundswell of support when they started out. But anyway, this band, this album is like a compilation of, uh, this is their first single. I said they formed in 1982, that was a complete lie. They formed uh, in the 70s. This single is from 1979. When I said 1982, I really meant that's when their album American Wino came out. By then, Kurt Vanderhoof wasn't in the band anymore. Interesting thing about this band is that they were kind of a really early mix of punk and you can hear metal in there, right? They were kind of an early mix of punk and metal, you know, you got the, the hardcore stuff and you also got sort of, you know, a tough sort of heavy metal sound. That had some good lyrics there. It said, uh, you better, cough up some money. you better cough up some money if you want to see your mommy and if you try to make a case we'll shoot your mommy in the face that was 1979 before anyone had heard of guns okay so and then the album they were more hardcore but still metal. this is the this first song American Wino Bam. Oh, sorry. By this point, they moved from uh, from Seattle to San Francisco. Uh, and they were different lineup, a little more hardcore. But also still doing the metallic stuff. I mean, that's pretty metal, you know. It's interesting because the lewd. You know, you hear about so many other hardcore bands, but they're, they're kind of one of those unseen bands that you never really hear about in the books. And, you know, it's not like they're, they were horrible or anything. I think about half of the songs on here are fucking great. I mean, like this one, I just think it's a cool song. I mean, the other half are kind of basic, but, um... You know, he had a pretty nice voice. When the screaming stops, he's, you know, he sings and... Oh, watch this. This next song is. This next song has a girl singing. There was a woman in the band, and so she sings this one. This kind of just you can sort of get the picture of what they sound like. I hope this isn't too tough. You know, like if you don't like punk rock. Yeah. Uh, who cares? Deal with it. Learn to grin and bear it. Yeah, so, uh, let's see. Play a few more for you here. Let's see. So some of the songs we've heard so far were Kill Yourself, Pay or Die, American Wino, I'm Not Pretty, Magnetic Heart. This is Beyond Moderation. You know, they're as good as a lot, you know, a lot of other hardcore bands, but I guess success just wasn't in the cards for these guys. Let's see what else we got. That was real trebly for some reason. I'm not sure what that's about. This is called Fight. The singer kind of reminds me of... Oh shit, hang on. The 
singer kind of reminds me of the guy in TSOL. This is a song entitled... Oh, this is Cold and Numb. See? Metal, punk, hardcore, 1982, an album you should hear. You know who really likes this band? Turbo Negro. Uh, they did a cover of one of their songs. Uh, it's actually a double album. It includes the original Kill Yourself single from 79, uh, original demos from 79, outtakes from that single, their first San Francisco demo, and then this album, the American Wino album. And if you happen to find it on um, uh, cassette, uh, you might... Uh, oh, this is another kind of... I really don't know much more about them. I just know that about half of the songs on this double album are really great. I mean, if you like this kind of thing. I just think it sounds cool. The mix of, it's not straight punk. It's got a real metallic, like, grind to it, but it's still punkish, you know? And this compilation was released on Demolition Derby Records. Uh, I think it's actually, the, you can get it on CD on Amazon, but it's like $35. I guess it's already probably out of print. But, uh, yeah, because this, this compilation came out in 1999. So. I just got to play this one more. It's one of the early ones, but it's a song that gets stuck in my head constantly because it's called Roman Polanski. And Roman Polanski keeps being all over the news with by molesting little kids. And it, it's a slower song, but man, does it get stuck in my head. I guess they must have written, if they wrote this in 79, it must have, that was probably around the time he molested the, the girl. And then this will be the last one I'll play for you because I kind of have to pee. Then I'm gonna go eat, scarf down some food. all the lewd the albums kill yourself again and I am gone I hope you didn't think this video was a dog hey Henry come here do you want some kibble okay shake shake do you want some kibble shake and give me a kiss give me a kiss what, not on camera? You don't want people to think you're gay? There's nothing wrong with being gay. There is something wrong with screwing dogs, though. Don't do it! Unless you're a dog. Hi.